Hey, James here from Schiller Math. I just want to give you a quick resource. Uh, I sent you out a handout that you can use to start implementing the Montessori math secrets from our webinar in your homeschool starting right now. Uh, this worksheet is lesson 112 from our Math Kit 1. It's a sample lesson and it is all about absolute and relative estimation. Now I'm going to walk you through this lesson, show you how you can start using Montessori Math Secret number two, multi-sensory curricula, which is from, from lesson 112 right now. So um, let's go ahead and jump in. All of the materials you're going to need are a glass Pyrex or kind of a see-through container, just something that your child can be able to you know, kind of uh, move around and, and be able to see what's inside of there. And then you're going to need, um, in this case, uh, some small rocks, as well as some uh, paper clips, some rubber bands. And in this case, um, the worksheet asks for beans or Cheerios. I found some cherries in the fridge. You can use kind of whatever is available to you that is going to make it easy for your child to see and, and visualize and count. So. Jumping right in, um, to start, what you're going to do is you're going to place several rocks in the measuring cup. So in this case, I'm going to place four in there. So one, two, three, four. So I got four rocks in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this to the child. You know, they're going to be able to see it. Now I don't want them to actually put their hands in and 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 start counting them, but they should just be able to kind of take a look at it and you know, kind of see the setup. So now what you'll say to them is, before we count, how many rocks do you think are in the cup? I will write your guess in the table. So as you can see from uh, lesson 112, which I've sent out to you, um, it's got sort of a table here. It's got an object, yes, an actual, and then you've got rocks, paper clips, rubber bands, beans, Cheerios, and then some other stuff. You can easily, um, cross stuff out or, or add stuff if you'd like. So in this case, let's say I handed it to the child. They took a look at it and I said, oh, okay, I think there's five. So what I would do is I would get my pen and write their guess, five. So now you say, good. Now let's count how many rocks there really are. I will write this number in the table. So now with the child, now ideally you'd be able to um, you know, have the child pull, you know, pull out the rocks themselves and say one, two, three, four. So we got four rocks. And now what you do is you would actually, you would write in the actual column four. So now as you can see, I've filled out um, their guess and their actual for the small rocks. Now what you can do here is you would repeat this process for the paper clips, the rubber bands, as well as the cherries, the Cheerios, other objects that you have. And you want them to go through this and really, the reason the multi-sensory is really important here is that oftentimes math is a very abstract concept. You know, it takes these fuzzy sort of uh, logical statements and tries to connect it with the real world. In this case, multi-sensory does that really well because we've got physical objects to represent a number in math. In other words, accounting something in the decimal system. So um, again, uh, you're trying to get them to connect that in their brain, connect the concrete, the physical, with the abstract math and counting that they're getting used to. So once they've gone through all this, you say, when you're done estimating and counting, ask, did you get better at guessing as time went on? So again, you're trying to get the child to kind of think and make the connection between the guess and the actual. It's a little bit of a game, so they'll be able to you know, say, well, yeah, I think I did, or no, I, I really didn't, or I don't know. Either way, you just want them to start thinking about it. And then you ask them, why do you think that happened? And so again, you're trying to really get them to think about, okay, like these four things are related, like these things are related to the number four. These concrete rocks this number of rocks is related to the number four. So trying to connect that, that concrete concept. And then lastly, why do you think sometimes it looks like there's a lot when there's only a little? So again, 
you're basically trying to show them that there is a way to understand math at a concrete level and understand that you know guessing is is something that they have to kind of get better at and they will get better at it as they understand how concrete things like a certain number of rocks or number of rubber bands or a number of paper clips connects to different numbers and you want them to understand the physical objects don't always you know even though they may look different the number is the same so again you're, you're connecting it to that abstract concept in math so I hope that helped you uh, see how you can start using Montessori Secret Number 2 multi-sensory curricula in your homeschool today. Go ahead and leave a comment below. I'm going to send out some more, res more resources for you this week uh, from our Math Kit 1 and some sample lessons in order for you to kind of see it, try it, and see if it works in your homeschool. So thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you soon.